Hi, my name is Swaraj and I would be talking about the Beagle for my psychology of human and animal relationships video assistant. It is a dog breed type of a small hound which has an adorable cute face with brown or hazel eyes, long ears and broad face. It is slightly similar in appearance compared to the American Foxhound and is also a member of the group of domesticated dogs. It has a short head and hard tricolored coat of black and brown or only brown with a white in its combination. It is a very intelligent dog breed but single-minded which can sometimes make it hard to train them as they can be distracted quickly. They love to please their owner and the food style training is the best form of training for them as you don't respond properly to harsh training. So patience, positive reinforcement and some creativity is the key for its good training. The type of interaction it has with humans now is as a pet. It is a popular pet due to its size, good temperament, as it is energetic, loyal, amusing, and always curious about something. Most importantly, it lacks any inherited health problems and has minimal shedding of hair. But that doesn't mean he is a perfect dog breed, as it is prone to epilepsy, panis, hypothyroidism, invertebral disc disease, and immune-mediated polygenic arthritis, which is rare in beagles, but it may occur nonetheless. He also suffers from separation anxiety, which is common in some hounds, which results in them howling, and can also be destructive when left alone for very long periods of time. So it requires some amount of human contact to reduce their anxiety and a companion dog to keep them happy as they were born to be worked with big packs. They don't place humans any risk due to its friendly nature, which is why families with small children have them as they are reliable as well. Compared to the Bloodhound and Basset Hound, it has one of the best developed senses of smell than any other dog. This is because it is a scent type of hound and has 220 million scent receptors, which makes them ideal as sniffer dogs in the world. They are also used in the Australian quarantine and inspection service in Ministry of Agriculture and Forestry in New Zealand. They were primarily used for hunting and tracking down hares, rabbits and deer in England from the 15th century due to its small and compact size. They are also known as escape artists, which is the reason they should be monitored and tall fencing that extends underground should be a must when left unsupervised in the backyard as the hunting instinct tends to lead them anywhere they could try tunneling. It stands at about 13 to 16 inches and weighs between 8 to 14 kilograms. It has a lifespan of 12 to 15 years which is a lot compared to other dog breeds. The maintenance level for this dog breed is medium which makes it one of the most affordable breeds to ensure. Thank you. See you next time. Bye bye.